many popular drivers like Jimmy Johnson, Carl Edwards, Brad Keselowski, and Denny Hamlin are still winless and still have two eggs in the win column. Tony Stewart, Matt Kenseth are also notable. We have guys like Ryan Blaney, Clint Boyer with two wins. This is 2015 Clint Boyer, not 2011 Clint Boyer. Um, Casey Kane, Eric Amarola with wins. Guys like Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch still have goose eggs. One of them hopefully will change their, get another win and punch their ticket to the chase. We welcome you back to Season 2 of NASCAR 15 Victory Edition. Last in today's episode, we're going to be at New Hampshire National Speedway for race 19 of 36, the 5-hour energy 301. Last week in Kentucky, we finished fourth after some last lap, after a last lap incident with the 20 of Matt Kenseth. New Hampshire in season one, we swept both the races. Can we do that today? How's your guys' 2017 been so far? Comment below. So we got 60 laps. Tower and Philippe's come one. Five rules on cautions only. Damage and failures on full. Let's skip on down to the race. Because, you know, we, we're not going to qualify. 60 laps of chaos. The crowd is fired up out here today. Make sure you go out there and give them a great performance here, driver. Here's Mike Joy. The Xbox 360 sounds like a didgeroo. Hi everyone, Mike Joy and Daryl Walker welcoming you to Loudon, New Hampshire for the Lennox Industrial Tools 301. Mike Joy, one mile race. It's got a very narrow groove. It's hard to pass. You know how you pass here, Mike? Little bump and run. When Bob Bear bought this place, it was a sleepy little mile point six road course, an eight mile Carl Edwards will start on the pole, and Danny Hamlin will start second, Tony Stewart will start third, Joey Logano will start fourth. The front row is still winless. Let, let it be known, the front row of those two Joe Gibbs cars are still winless. Can one of them get a win today in these 60 laps? Pace car is off. Field is in the hands of Carl Edwards as we come out of turn number four. This uh, early morning episode of NASCAR 15 Victory Edition as the green flag is into the air. An important thing to note, this is the worst track, this is a track I'd love to race on in the NASCAR games because of how wide it is, but I hate racing on this track because it's just not realistic for drivers to be going five wide at New Hampshire. You'll probably see that a few times today. As um, within the span of two laps, I've cut all the way up to the 22nd position. You see last week's winner Casey Kane making his way to the top spot. Going to break into the top 20. Get by the 31 in Newman. And basically blaze right by the 21 and 41 of Kurt Busch and Ryan Blaney. Keselowski actually is going to go to the lead here. As Joey Logano, who started fourth, has fallen all the way back to the 15th spot. Early on in typical New Hampshire races, the groove is very narrow. Many people are dead sure on the bottom to see the line that Ford of Kevin Harvick took behind uh, Logano. He is dead sure on the bottom. But you can run, can't really run side by side very well early on in a race in New Hampshire. 
as the race moves on, you're going to see a lot of drivers start moving grooves. They're going to start going lower. Or on the track, guys will go on the apron as the caution is out for Joey Logano. He has gotten to the wall. Really, people, that's totally a caution. Joey Logano got out of the groove and he brings out the first yellow. Casey Kane's going to lead the field down to the restart. Took four laps to have our first caution. Just like most of these races, could it not be a demolition derby, please? Green flag back into the air. Keselowski gets the good that's the lead at the line. A lot of three wide racing in front of me. Jimmy Johnson on the bottom, Kyle Bush in the middle. Oh, both of them get loose. Johnson's going to lose a few spots. Kyle Bush is going to gather it up. Here comes 78 of Truex trying to take six away from Gordon. Kyle Bush, but Gordon's not going to go without a fight. Dale Earnhardt Jr. leads. Matt Kenseth in second. Kenseth has not gotten a win this year, so he loves to change that statistic. As Matt Kenseth looks on the inside of the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr., who surprisingly has one win to his credit. I don't remember what race he won in, but I think it was Kansas that time. Um, Kenseth and Stewart are side by side, were side by side for the lead. Stewart fades back. Here comes the 88 of Jr. to the outside of Kenseth. Gordon gets a spot on the outside. Here comes Gordon getting tens of loose, both of them up the track. Here comes the two of Keselowski and the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr. will get the lead. 52 laps to go. Stewart goes back to the point now. Denny Hamlin in the 11 has not gotten a win. He's up there. Casey Kane's up there. Um, Jimmy Johnson gets back up there after his slight scramble with the 18. Oh, let, wow, we let that car just roll up there, clearing the apron, and we're back to the lead. Here comes the two of Keselowski with help from Hamlin. Oh, four wide at the line. Johnson's going to lead that lap. A lot of bumping and grinding in the second. Oh, my God, Newman in the catch fence. Ryan Newman into the catch fence as a big wreck happens. Oh, my God. Ryan Newman, Austin Dillon style, into the fence. The 95 of Michael McDowell is involved. The 4 of Kevin Harvick. The 23 of J.J. Yaley. Look at that. But most notably is the... 31 of Ryan Newman up into the fence to bring out the second caution. Terrible crash. See, me and Keselowski got together. I get into Kurt Busch. Newman up into the air, nose first into the fence. Brian Vickers gets involved. Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick, many others. Four more laps till we had our second caution. Jimmy Johnson will lead the field down. Big wreck. A lot of wrecking early on. Now he... Green flag back in the air. Johnson, lead... Johnson will lead him down. Stewart got the better, has the preferred move on momentum on the outside. Junior almost gets into the wall. Kenseth is going to push Johnson out of two ahead of Stewart. Kenseth is going to get loose. Kenseth to the inside in three. 
four wide. Contact. Johnson up the track. Stewart bounces off Kozlowski and brings out the third caution. Oh. Jeez. Stewart with a big hit. In their yellow, Gordon Kenseth will bring the field down. Down to the restart zone. Keselowski and Jimmy Johnson are going to lead him down as what? Well. Number two, green flag back in the air. Kenseth get, keeps getting good starts, but here comes the 24 of Gordon getting a little squirrely down the back stretch. Car outside. Car closed on the inside. Okay, let's go get him. Kenseth has a better one on the outside. Here comes the 15 of Clint Boyer up to fourth. Kenseth is going to fight back. A lot of leaning on each other going into three. Kenseth out front at Loudon. A lot of people crowding each other. You got Chase Elliott crowding the 34 of Reagan. Matt Kenseth here in front of the field and he's gone. He's got a nice second gap. JJ Yaley pushed way out of line. Cole Witt is in second. Johnson is third. Well, Johnson's third now. McMurray trying to look low for fourth. Kenseth is going to back up the outside lane. Probably be freight trained by about two cars. Cole Witt gets the lead. Johnson, Kozlowski, McMurray, the front four. Ty Dillon getting a little aggressive, putting the bumper to him. Kenseth getting to run on the outside. Here comes Jamie McMurray, three wide for second. On the outside, McMurray going to go to the lead. Whoa, crossover, that was tight. Four, five wide going across the start-finish line. That is how highly unrealistic this racing is. Oh my god, four wide for a moment in turn point two. AJ Almir goes to the lead. Ryan Blaney charges it in real deep. He takes second. He already has two wins to his credit. The contact there. Here comes the 11 of Hamlin. Is Blaney spins into the pack. Big crash. Multiple cars involved. Casey Mears is involved. Truex is involved. Blank, Gordon Chase playing down. The safety crews are clear of the track. AJ will lead the field down and for this restart. Fourth caution flag of the afternoon, believe it or not, of this race today. Green flag back into the air. Edwards with a good run. Can't really quite clear him yet. Edwards up in the biffle. Almendinger is just loving the chaos behind him. Don't count Gordon. To in outside, side by side for the lead. Four, wa four wide for a moment, going to three. Look at that. Save that car, but the fifth caution is going to come out. For This probably was not caused by me. 
everyone just drove to the top lane. Oh, it happened behind me. Is that the result of the stack up? Colt Witt's going to get turned around. Justin Allgaier leads the field down. Fifteen minutes on this recording. Jamie, Justin Allgaier leads him down. Green flag back into the air. Let's go for a NASCAR on Fox South. Crank it up. Jimmy Johnson has emerged from the small chaos that is this restart as the leader here at Loudon. Algar gets loose in second. Here comes the 14 of Stewart and the 19 of Carl Edwards, four wide behind them. Actually, if I get on the track now, it will be five wide. Five wide behind where I'm at. Seems like the field has dissipated a little bit. Stewart sliding it in, four wide, here comes the five of Casey Kane. You see Johnson still loving all this chaos. Oh, Vickers going to bring out the sixth caution. And it is somebody's on his side again. Well, somebody just went up into the fence, it looks like. it. Oh, another car upside down. Guys. I love how at this track it's uh, they got indie car physics turned on. Just totally blows my mind. There's my season one ride. Kyle Busch, he's involved. Kevin Harvick with more damage. Jamie McMurray, Ty Dillon, Brian. B Michael Lynette up, basically about to go up into the catch fence and die. Um, Denny Hamlin's involved. <laughs> Yeah, Annette basically went to the catch fence and died. Michael Annette has basically just died just now. There is no room right there. Vickers was in an... Oh, wow. That can... Oh, oh my goodness. Michael Annette on his side climbs over the 98 of Josh Wise. Horrible mess. Hendrick teammates, bring him down for the restart. Take it. Six cautions in the first half of this race. Definitely quite the interesting affair. Here is Johnson will get the lead going into one. There's contact. Kane out of nowhere, Bolt just about moved his two teammates out of the way, and for that he's going to deserve a nice bump out into the fence. See Greg Biffle in third, Kane goes to the outside, he's going to lose quite a few spots. As Greg Biffle gets turned into the inside wall, caution is not out. Here comes the 51 of Algar. Just keep a good pace. You're doing good. There's the 2 of Keselowski. 51 of the 5 of Casey Kane. 3 wide for 2nd. Here comes Gordon. 33 laps to go. 4. Almost 5 wide in the corner. If they were 5 wide, there'd be somebody going into the fence. Look at the damage to the side of the 40, right side of the 41 car. Oh, Johnson get a little frisky there. Kurt Busch drifting up another car above him. However, Justin Algar is going to escape the chaos to the lead. 
Dawson's going to go up the middle. Middle of the two. Keselowski is on his outside. What about Chase Elliott? Up to the uh, fourth spot. Oh, and speaking of Chase Elliott, he just brought out the seventh caution. Yep, I'm going to have to repair it now. They're still stacking them up. Austin Dillon goes around. Went around when the caution came out. I'm going to clip bar after this. Alright. We're going to pit and by the three, first year of this restart, J.J. Yaley is probably going to be the man leading him down. J.J. Yaley is going to lead him down for the restart. We are going to restart. Green flag back into the air. Okay, not happening. Seven cautions all in the first half of this race. Going down on the one. Chase Sully, you better not wreck me again. Okay, I love you, Chase Elliott, but you better not freaking wreck me, dude. Johnson's going to loop it around out of two, bringing out the eighth caution. And I'm going to basically try to dive bomb Jeff Burton. Harvick into the wall. I get into Johnson. Eighth caution. And I'm on the outside, which is um, a place nobody wants to beat New Hampshire. Okay, starts off green flag back into the air. Four wide, a lot of buff. Brian Newman in the lead here at New Hampshire. I'm stuck in, literally, I'm stuck in the belly of a whale. Try to squeeze it in right on the um, Stenhouse. I'm going to rim ride it all the way around, get about three, four spots. Ryan Newman is the current leader here at New Hampshire. Stewart takes the lead. Stewart has not won since Dover of 2013. Well, at the time this game was released, he hasn't won since so hadn't won since Dover that year. And he has a pretty good shot right now on a fast hot rod. To be able to contend with, to contend with somebody like Logano or Kyle Busch in this right now today. Twenty-six laps to go here in the. Uh, 
during the five iron energy 301 had to I totally blank for a second. Stuart and Newman fight for the lead. Here comes Jeff Gordon out of nowhere knocking Clint Boyer out of the way. Side by side, coming to the for the second briefly, but Newman will get the spot. But can Gordon take it back? Up to second. 25 laps to go now. Here comes Clint Boyer all the way back. Larson gets into the wall. Here comes the 55 of Vickers. Five wide for a moment. Oh, oh, God. Okay, the big, big wreck happened. Oh, my God. Big, big wreck. Look, the frame rate was lagging so bad. That shows how bad this. Oh, my God. Ed Vickers were a hard hit. Stenhouse on top of everyone and their mothers. It's a modified style wreck here at Loudon. Twenty-four laps to go. Or twenty-three laps to go. Kyle Larson leads him down. Leads him down. Green flag. Larson in the third. Oh, mirrors into the wall, coming out to tenth caution. Bobby Labonte is involved. It's a junkyard coming out of two. Finally, it looks like an actually genuine wreck. Mears is in the way. Ryan Glenn is also involved. Twenty-one laps to go to settle it here in New Hampshire. Kyle Larson. We'll bring him down. Green flag back into the air. Larson will lead. Sorry, just to check and see stuff. Kyle Larson will lead him out of two. Oh, God. Dear God. Oh, God. Keselowski will take the lead. Gordon's going to go all the way downstairs. Get up in the fifth bowl. We sure did spend a lot of time behind that pace car this season. Hopefully, uh, in the next few races, that becomes less and less of a trend. As the cone basically flies from the racetrack, any other NASCAR game, that would have been a caution and a good idea to throw your ass back on pit road. Here comes the 42 of Larson on the inside of Brad Kislowski. Larson thinks better of it. Boyer is on his bumper. Gordon all the way downstairs and on the apron. Larson back to the lead. Kislowski on the outside. Watch your outside. 
sit here. I'm fighting Boyer for third. I get the spot. And, oh, oh god, Larson. And the 11th possum is out. For... I... It seems like every time you hit the wall like that, it's automatically a caution, especially at this track, which is really stupid. So the 11th caution just came out. I'm going to repair my, fix my tire. Most costumes we've gotten in this season, 23. Man. Bring him down. It's gotta work, boys. Here we go. Hopefully we can get a good start here. Good stop. Good. Make it clean. Clean stop. No mistakes. And Austin Dillon's gonna get out of pit road first. If this thing goes one or two or three green white checkers, we want a lot of fuel. Way to go, boys. Nice pit. Okay, let's get back in that rhythm. Let's go get these boys. All right. Face car is off. Boyer leads him down. Green flag. Kozlowski has the lead going into one. Kozlowski has not earned a win at all in this in season two of this let's, this playthrough. I'm going to use AJ on there as a brake pad. As Brad Kozlowski will get the lead coming out of two. He has the lead. He's currently holding on to the lead. They're going to drift right into Danica. Look at that. Brad Kozlowski is still leading. I'm methodically working my way through this pack. Oh, wow. Chase Light and David Reagan getting together there. And the 46 of Michael Lynette basically stacked up everyone behind him. And, oh, God. Bobby Labonte, Greg Bethel getting into, into each other. As I'm going to continue to pass these guys. Pass them up. Kozlowski is still leading. I, there's Harvick. Hopefully we can get a few more cautions. These guys, some of the top guys can be back in this thing. There's Carl Edwards who's currently riding around in the mid upper 20s. Or towards the top 20 here. Five wide. Bunch of cars getting together. Caution flag has not out, been called. Stewart side by side with Keselowski going into one. Here comes Jeff Gordon all the way back to the front of this field. Look at that. On the outside, three wide. Stewart crosses to the top. Oh, God, Casey Kane getting a little squirrely there. Going to slide up in that Jimmy Johnson. Here comes the 15 of Boyer. Four, three wide. Can we try to make it four wide? Going the one. We don't. Boyer gets the lead. Going to go on the outside. 13 lap. Oh, oh, God. And Clint Boyer is going to spin up into the field and kill everyone. Literally. Just, that's all he just did right now. Just came down on him. Clint Boyer looped it up into, oh my goodness, into the field. Trevor Baines involved. Comes back into the field for more. Austin Dillon is involved. 
Kyle Larson is involved, J.J. Daly, A.J. Allmendinger. <laughs> Everyone and their mothers. Eleven laps to go in this one. Gordon and Stewart will leave them down. Green flag back into the air. Here comes the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Wow, Vickers, he basically drove into the pit entrance right there early on. And he's made his way up to the top few spots. Two-car dogfight at the front, Stewart and Hamlin. Hamlin bumps Stewart a little bit, side-by-side side for second. Gordon and Hamlin, 24, Hamlin, 11. Gordon will get the spot. Tony Stewart has the lead, 10 laps to go. I'm going to hit the cone into the field, because it's all I do. Look at that, side by side, almost dead even coming out of turn two. Hamlin takes second. Vickers will take third. They will try to take second. Hamlin up into the, oh dear lord. Lodi Jesus. Lodi Jesus. Lodi Jesus. Un Paul Menard just killed everybody. And surprise, nobody's everyone learns the meaning of physics physics now. Paul Menard. Oh my god. Yeah, rest in peace. Seven laps to go. Joey Logano will leave him down. Somehow, Paul Menard is still running right now. After all that chaos, Paul Menard is still running in this race. Green flag back into the air. Ty Dillon and Joey Logano lead him down. Outside. Three wide, two outside. Kyle Larson will get... is in third. Ty Dillon tries to box Logano to the outside. Um, Logano will get the lead down the back stretch and into three. Seven laps to get to line, six to go. Wal Waltrip Senhouse on the outside, three wide there. Joey Logano still has the lead. Logano has two wins. He would love to add a third today. Here comes the 95 of McDowell. Well, he tried to make a move, but thought better. But. So far, it's a two-man dogfight. Two drivers that have wins versus one who does not. Well, three-man dogfight. All these drivers would love to have wins. Larson behind Logano. Here, I'll get some of them for you, for you, Larson. You know, they're trying to wreck me at Phoenix and still going on to win that race. This way. Down to the inside of Logano. Can he, can't quite make it, or can't quite get side by side with him. But I'm going to go to the outside. Oh, I clip Logano. He gets loose. Manages to bottle the entire, literally bog down the entire field. Here comes the 34 of David Reagan and the two Penske teammates and Kyle Busch. Side by side, because last... Oh, Gordon Keselowski. These two have had history, folks. Austin Dillon's going to lose a lot of spots. And so will I. Four laps to go. And the caution is out for Trevor Bain. This five wide was not going to... Oh, wait, was that? No, it was Michael and Nick. 
It was Michael and Nett getting loose. I thought it was Trevor Bain. It was a red number. It was a red number. I thought it was Trevor Bain. Two laps to settle it in scheduled distance. Here we go. Green flag into the air. Logano has the lead. The AI is going to check up. Oh, God. Trevor Bain is going to go to bring the caution out and bring them all to overtime. First attempt at a green-white checkered, and hopefully the only attempt, but knowing this game, we may have two, we may have three, who knows. David Reagan leads him down. Take a look at your last lap, buddy. We're doing two more. Thank God they didn't put the overtime rule in this game, because we'd have like 18 green-white checkers. David Reagan leads him down. Green flag. Here it comes Gordon, trying to get, he has the run, but King Keselowski clear him, David Reagan pulls even with him. Here comes the 41 of Kurt Busch, three wide for the top spot. Because Algar can't save a car. Justin Algar apparently can't save a car. That would have totally have been drivable. Or been a perfect wreck to get out of. Anyways, second your mic checkered attempt. Kurt Bush will lead him down. Okay, two to go, buddy. Bring your checkers. Okay, car is off. Kurt Bush will lead him. Lead him to the line. Green flag back into the air. Can we make it to the white, or do we go to a third attempt? One outside. Keep it right there, buddy. Nice job, dude. Very nice. There's uh, right. Kurt, David Reagan. Kurt Bush is probably the best opportunity to score his second win of the year. But he's got to hold off David Reagan in a hard charging and an aggressive Jeff Gordon. Kurt Bush gets into the wall. Last lap at New Hampshire. Four wide. David Reagan gets clear. Here comes David Gillen. Down the back stretch. Dead even going into three. Here comes Logano and Stewart. Here we go. Out of four. Sprint to the checkers. Stewart into the wall at the line. Joey Logano wins it loud in. That was for, that was tight. Big mess behind them. In the top five, a lot of points. Great work, champs. Eight one thousandths of a second separates Joey Logano from David Dillon. Stewart spun across the line, finishes 20th. Really long stack. Very, very long static. Um, rest in peace, Michael Annette. He basically died in this race. So, take us all through here. Here I am, dead even with three. Reagan goes up the track, gets into Newman. Logano may have the lead. I was hopefully not trying to get pushed to the track by Smoke. Stewart gets tagged.
<laughs> and everyone passes him by. I was fully expecting a big mess. Everyone surprisingly passed him by. Sheesh. This means Indy, if it's like this, somebody's probably going to hit the tires and we're all going to have a horrible, horrible mess. Really? David fucking Pearson? David Pearson doesn't even race anymore, fam. Oof. Well then, Joey Logano is basically going to be the first seed right now going to the chase. Johnson still is a goose egg. Kenseth is still a goose egg. Edwards still is a goose egg. G Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick are goose eggs. What do you know? Kozlowski did win this year. Um, Truex and Hamlin are also notable goose eggs in the win column. Um, Austin Dillon... Surprisingly, the third, despite, you know, having his win, having literally no wins. Yeah. Be sure to tune in next time where we go to the Brickyard. If you guys like this video, why not drop some likes? Throw some comments down below, click that subscribe button, follow me on any social media network platform possible, and, um, we guys have a good day. And, um... Not many people are going to watch this since this is probably going to go up at like 1 o'clock in the morning.